Hi everyone, this is Jill Celeste from the Celestial Marketing Academy, where I teach entrepreneurs all they need to know about marketing so they can become the director of marketing for their business. Let's talk today about how to get your first client. And this is so exciting. You know, you've got your business ready, your website's up, you've ordered your business cards, and you are ready for business. You are ready to accept new clients. So how do you do it? Well, in this video and in this week's marketing strategy, I'm going to share with you a four-step process you can follow to attract that very first client through your doors. So let's delve right in. The first step is to know who your ideal client is. This is something that has to be done before you even accept your first client. You have to know who it is you want to work with and who it is that has the problem that you can solve. So think about your youngest client. Think about the person you really want to work with. Oftentimes, it's you several steps ago. And think about what makes them your ideal client. You want to look at the demographics, you want to look at their psychographics, and really delve into what composes your ideal, ideal client. Once you do that, you want to create what is called an ideal client profile. An ideal client profile is a narrative that talks about who your ideal client is, what their issues tend to be, and what they need right now to fix that problem. So once you have all of these steps in place, you will know who your ideal client is. Now, because you are just starting out, it is going to be so tempting to take just anybody. And I want to just stress and urge you not to do that. Energetically, this is a terrible way to start your business. You won't be happy. You won't be gratified. So identify who your ideal client is and find those people. So how do you do that? Well, that leads me into number two. Once you have that ideal client profile set and written, your second step is to tell everyone who your ideal client is. And there's multiple ways you can do this. You can put this on your website. I have a page on my website called Who I Help, and it is my ideal client profile. That way, when people read it and they come to my website, they go, oh, this is me, and they want to work with me. They self-select. So definitely put it on your website. Also, make a flyer out of it. You can just throw it, throw it into uh, Microsoft Word and uh, put your logo on there and print out a lot of those because you're going to need them. Another way you can communicate this is through snail mail, good old fashioned snail mail. What you can do is for everyone you have a mailing address for, send them a letter, send them the flyer with your ideal client profile in there and say, hey, do you know somebody I'm opening for business? This is who I am destined to help. Do you know anyone? If so, here's how they can contact me. The point of this exercise is to ask for referrals and to send it to everyone. You never know if your Aunt Lucy or your college roommate may know your ideal client. You can also do this through email as well. Just send that email out to everyone in your address book. Attach the uh, flyer as a PDF right to that email and you can send it out that way. So that's the second thing you can do is to tell everyone who your ideal client is. The third step is to reach out to any potential sales prospects. More than likely, you have told people, hey, I'm going to open a business and it's going to do X, Y, Z. And someone or maybe more than one person has gotten back to you and said, hey, I would really need that. I would really love to work with you. Well, this is your time to reach out to anyone who's expressed any kind of interest in working with you. So reach out to them, say, hey, I'm open for business now. Let's, you know, maybe set up a call, an introductory phone call, and let's talk about and see if I'm a good match for you and swing them over to a phone call so that you can share your packages and pricing. You can hear about their struggles and see if you're the right healer for them. So that's your third tip. Your fourth tip is to step away from the computer. Now you've got all this online communications going, right? You, you put everything on your website, you've sent your emails, you've, you've done everything you can on the computer, but now it's time to step away and start looking for your ideal clients. And the two best ways to do that is to go to networking groups and to do guest speaking. So for networking, 
hey, listen, the truth of the matter is if you don't have clients, you have time to network. When I first opened my coaching practice, I went to every networking meeting I could find. I was trying them out and that's what I recommend for you. Try out, find some groups that really resonate with you and focus in on only making one to two connections per meeting. Really get to know people so that they get to know you and they can help refer people to you and vice versa. Carry that ideal client flyer with you so that you can give that to your referrers in your networking group so they know exactly the type of people you wanna work with. Guest speaking is another effective way to get some first clients. Those networking groups that you're joining, most of them are looking for speakers, so just get on the list and get prepared to speak to your own networking groups. But also check other organizations. Ask them if they accept outside speakers. Tell them what your topic is, and that's another great way to expand your reach and let people know who you want to work with. So these are the four steps you need to follow to get your first ideal client. And let me just warn you, this is a big task because friend, chances are you haven't had to do it before. You may get no's, you may get no responses, but this is the time to be tenacious and determined. And once you get that first customer under your belt, it makes you feel so good to know that you are in the right place to help people. So keep at it, stick with it, and don't give up. If you need additional marketing help or advice, come on over to my website at jillceleste.com. And until next time, here's to your marketing success and have a great day.